Jonathan Lico. And only because he bigs himself up massively on the game. So he talks a good game, does he? He talks a good game. I'm not sure how good he is, but he definitely back himself. George Friend's horrific and Juki are horrific. They actually played a game against each other and it was a dead nil-nil, so they're both banned from playing the game. I can't have that sort of game being viewed on any sort of television screen. You're obviously very good with your hands. What are you like with a controller in them? I'm not bad, I'm not the best. The majority of the time I play FIFA when we go out internationals, it's just complete, you know, hotel rooms and stuff like that. So that's when I get to play most of it. I'd back myself. I'm not amazing. I haven't got all the tricks and stuff like that. I'm just pretty yeah. uh, route one. Would you beat George Friend? Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'd help against George any day of the week, yeah. Ivan Sunjic. Definitely, like he'd lose it completely. I can't swear on this, but like he'd lose it and probably throw a controller somewhere. What winds you up on the football pitch? Conceding a goal doesn't help. Yeah. <laughs> Rule number one, um, I suppose. Number, yeah, don't really want to concede a goal. We've got a great bunch of lads here, really good bunch of lads, but obviously sometimes when it goes against us or ref referee calls, can I say that? I can say that. Yeah. yeah referee <laughs> decisions, they don't help anyone. Uh, I think there's a big, big thing at the moment about that. So, um, yeah, probably those two. Lukas Djukovic, definitely. He's massive up top. And then Mark Roberts. Yeah, you wouldn't want to mess with Mark Roberts at the back, to be fair. Are they beasts in the gym? Funnily enough, Robbo doesn't really go to the gym that much, but Juki does. Juki's in there quite a lot, and he's trying to get Harley to come along with him at the moment. So it's like, yeah, they're competing in the gym quite a bit. What do you bench at the minute? Ah, uh, I just keep it at a steady 100, you know? I don't like to go too much, you know? Just a steady 100 kg is fine for me. Steve Seddon, he's a proper character. And Adam Clayton, but depends on what mood you get him in. He can either be really down or he can be really, really funny. What's he like when he's really funny? He just takes the mick out of everyone, to be fair. Both of them do. To be fair, they haven't crossed the line yet. <laughs> but <laughs> I'm, just, I'm sure they get on the nerves of some of the boys. Are practical jokes still something that's very popular in the dressing room at the minute? Yes. <laughs> yeah. I feel, like a, I feel like there's a story coming here. Nah, there's no story. I can't say the story at all, but there was definitely between us here at the club, there definitely was one. There's a few things in people's lockers every so often, but yeah, it's not the easiest because we're not always together. What's turning up in these lockers? All sorts. Now, nah, we're not too bad. I think because it's a new squad, people are still trying to find out each other's boundaries. Even though we haven't gone to the levels of like tearing people's clothes up or anything like that yet. But you know, there's dirty pieces of, of kit and stuff like that. Um, yeah, the basics, the basics. Has anyone been brave enough to put anything in your locker? No. Not <laughs> <laughs> the goalie, it's a big unit, benching 100. No one's coming yeah. for you, are they, Neil? I might have just. Uh, if anyone watches this from the club, they may be now from now on. But no. You're going to be a target. I'll be a target from now, but yeah, no, not at the moment. No, one, no one's gone down that route. Oh, this would cause a massive stir. I'd normally say Jeremy, Jeremy Bella or Jonathan Lico. Yeah. But I've heard once Mark Roberts gets in his stride, he is the fastest. So it depends over what sort of distance. See, Jeremy Bella will like that because according to FIFA, he is the fastest at the club with 92. Mark Roberts, he's up there, trust me. He, once he gets going, he's like a proper steam train. When you joined the club back in September, did you have to do initiation? No, there was meant to be about 12 of us doing one. <laughs> I'm, I'm one of those who just kind of gets on with it, horrific voice, gets booed off, and then just gets down off the chair, and I'm happy with that. If there's 12 <laughs> of you doing it, that's pretty much an album. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> to be honest, it was a yeah. There's a, there's a lot of new signings here at the club, so it would have maybe that's why the gaffer didn't want to do it because it would have taken too long for us to do. It. What song would you sing if you had to do one? I would have gone for the Friends theme tune, and no, you won't be getting a lyric out of me from that. <laughs> yeah, that would be amazing. Is Friends your favourite TV program? Uh, it's got to be up there. I've watched it a fair few times. It's one of them you can just stick on and you don't have to obviously watch it too much. It's an easy, easy watch, yeah. That would be good, though. A little rendition of that would be class. You could give it the hour. Uh... Yeah, you could definitely, and hopefully everyone hasn't booed me off by that time. 
John Terrell's got both feet pretty much locked down, I'd say. Very technical player. It took me a while to work out what foot he was, to be fair, so it probably sums it up. I didn't know, it took me about three months to work it out. What are you like on your left peg? As a goalkeeper, I mean, it's pretty vital that you can kick with both. It's there for standing on. Yeah, a lot of footballers, <laughs> a lot of footballers say my definitely. weak foot is there to stand on. Exactly, it's weak foot for a reason, isn't it? So, <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, it's, I'm not picking no one out with it, let's put it that way. <laughs>got a strange one Steve Seddon likes his country music in the gym after training like proper country music well, how does that motivate anyone in <laughs> it's honestly the strangest thing I mean even today he was in there and he left his phone there and he was just, he was just playing and I think one of the physios came in and had to turn it off because it wasn't helping anyone if you're in charge of the dressing room tunes what are you putting on I did play one time I listened to Motown a mix I had a Motown in the gym and then after, I think we beat Reading away and one of the lads was like, oh, stick that back on. Christian Pedersen gives it a go. When I say gives it a go, like I, I don't know where he's going after training. And he loves a roll neck, which is not acceptable. But there's a good story that we found out that, about George Friends that he used to wear, and he won't mind me saying this, he used to wear, like, you know, like school shoes, like proper actual shoes. Yeah. It wasn't until he was like 25, 26 years old they stopped wearing them into the training ground. <laughs> no, honestly, it was the most weird thing we heard the story. I think one of the lads did a, like the, the Birmingham City kind of podcast with her and he came out of it himself. He goes, oh yeah, I used to like properly get dressed up with like school shoes on and come into the training ground every day. Like, why? I don't know. Just wanted to look extremely smart every day for training. What would you say is your best attribute as a goalkeeper? Everyone always says shot stopping. I mean, obviously it's an obvious one, but I think yeah. it's, I mean, out of the FIFA ratings, I think my shot stopping, I'd, I'd like to think it's up there. Or yeah. Out of my ones. The categories you've got, reflexes, positioning, diving, speed, handling, and kicking. Out of those, what do you think's the best? I bet it's diving, but I would have liked it to be reflexing. Your reflexes, and your positioning are your two top stats with 75. I'll take that. Which is handy as a goalkeeper. You're good at knowing where to stand and how to <laughs> the ball. I'll take that. That's and your diving's up there as well. You've got a good, good little card. Um, Neil, thanks for your time, mate. Really appreciate it. All the best for the season and hopefully get you back on the sofa soon. Perfect, cheers, mate.